Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you all the fragrances that I have that are fresh and clean. I've got about 15 here for you, which is a fairly large amount of fragrances, but there's, I think, something for everyone. Not everybody is into super fresh fragrances. Not everyone is into clean fragrances. So I have kind of a mixture of fragrances that kind of push those boundaries a little bit, but still give you a fresher, cleaner type Type of fragrance. So I'm excited to share these with you. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And just a reminder, I have my perfume journals here that are, are available on Amazon. They come in hardcover and soft cover. They give you the ability to keep track of your fragrances, write the notes in, uh, the longevity, if they're affordable, whether you get a compliment, descriptor words here, the date. It also gives you the capacity to write it in the table of contents so you can keep track of your fragrances and know where they are. You can use this as a reference book. You can use this um, as a daily journal. It also has a glossary, wish list, and layering combination page. It's just like lined, but it gives you the capacity to do that. So yay! It comes in three colors, hardcover and soft. And full disclosure, I make about $5 a book, a little bit less than that, but close to about $5 a book, whether it's hardcover or soft. So anyway, I created these lovingly for you guys, and I hope that you participate and take part in them. For those of you that have already, Thank you so much. And I've gotten lots of really great feedback that you guys are enjoying your journals. So yay! Okay, getting on to the fragrance. Being I have 15, there's no way that I am going to go through all the notes because that would just get crazy. Uh, so I'll kind of share with you a little bit of the vibe it gives. I'm going to start with Elizabeth Arden White Tea. So this is a fragrance that has been out for quite some time. The fragrance just literally, there's a fan above me and so the fragrance just went, it hit my knee. So I'm not going to sniff my knee. So I'll put it on a card. Now, part of the reason why I need to actually spray this on a card is because I never wear this. So although I think that this is a great fragrance, it's not really my vibe. So it doesn't really suit my personality. And so I never gravitate towards this. This gives me a bit of a spa-like vibe. You just definitely get that tea in there. It smells very clean. It smells fresh. There's a bit of an ozonic vibe to this, which makes sense when it's paired with tea. This also has some iris in it. So it's just got a slight powdery edge, but really it's probably the most spa-like vibe out of all these fragrances. So it's super relaxing. It smells fresh and clean. It's not overpowering. This fragrance lasts about three hours. So poor longevity in my opinion. But this is a great fragrance for just getting out of the shower when you want to smell really just clean and fresh. This is an excellent fragrance. It's just not my vibe, so I don't reach for it. What about you? Do you love white tea by Elizabeth Arden? Of course, there's the green tea line. There's lots of different iterations of that one as far as like raspberry, yuzu, like all sorts of different uh, green tea options. I prefer the raspberry and the peach ones. The original green tea, I haven't smelled that in a long time, but it is that kind of tea-like spa vibe that's similar to white tea. So white tea has a few other flankers, but uh, I prefer the original out of all of them. The next one that I would say is my cleanest smelling fragrance. Like it's very, very clean. So the last one was more spa-like, but this one, as far as clean and fresh, it's called Pure Musk for her by Narciso Rodriguez. This was the first Narciso Rodriguez fragrance I got. And it's really interesting because it's one of those white shirt, uh, white shirt and jeans type fragrance. It smells a little bit like dryer sheets or cleaning, like clean laundry. That's the vibe I get. So kind of a crisp, clean uh, shirt that's starched and ironed after being outside all day on the laundry line. So it's got that really fresh scent that's kind of picked up a little hint of florals just in the air, super breezy. This fragrance is actually quite classy and quite sexy, but there's a floral note in here that is a little bit like sharp for me somehow. 
So I don't tend to reach for this one either, but if you're new to the Narciso Rodriguez line, this is an excellent one to check out. Of course, my favorite one is uh, Rose Noir, N Noir Rose for her, I think it is. That's my favorite one, but it's way less musky, way less clean smelling than this one. But as far as all those clean musk ones, this is really good. It's not pure musk. There's definitely a little bit of floral in here, but it's still a really nice fragrance. Lasts at least six hours and projects really well as well. Now this next one, I was debating whether I should choose it or not, but I really feel like it has that kind of clean Garnier shampoo-y vibe, and it is Niche Royal Vert by Maison Alhambra. Now this is supposed to be inspired by uh, Vert Malachite, by the Armani Privé line. I'd, I've never smelled that one, so, so I don't know how similar it is. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's also really, really affordable. So it's definitely floral. Although this is supposed to be similar to Vert Malachite, it actually has really uh, different notes from Vert Malachite. So this one has Sicilian lemon, bergamot, tangerine, and green notes in the opening. The middle is lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, and violet, and the base is musk, cedar, sandalwood and amber. To me, it smells more tuberose than any of those florals. So I get kind of a tuberose vibe, smells a little bit bubblegummy to be honest. I definitely get a hint of green. I just think that this is a gorgeous fragrance, but what it reminds me of, it almost smells as if there was just a hint of apple in. So it reminds me of kind of those apple shampoos a little bit, but really light on the apple. It's gorgeous fragrance, very classy and sophisticated. I think this was $25. So it's a really, really affordable, beautiful fragrance, beautiful bottle. Like the bottle is just absolutely gorgeous. So really, really enjoy this fragrance. And yeah, this is one you could wear all year round for sure. And it's gonna just smell clean and sophisticated, very elegant smelling. So it's not a, a, a traditional kind of fresh, clean fragrance, but it does give that kind of shampoo clean vibe. And I can see guys really being into this one. Now the next one is less clean and more fresh and it is French Kiss by By Bozo. Now the Weird thing about this fragrance is that it has a corn note in it. Now the corn actually comes across as just a slight kind of warm sweetness, but where the freshness comes in is in the lemon ver lemon verbena. So this has some verbena in there. So it's a little bit kind of brighter, it's fresh, it's definitely green smelling. And this to me is an excellent fragrance for just a, a freshy in the summer. So really enjoy this one. I also consider this one to be a little bit more classy. So if you're wanting a fresh, classy fragrance that's definitely unique, this would be a great option. It certainly isn't by blind by safe. This one took me a while to kind of get used to it or figure it out, but now I just love it. I just think it's so beautiful. It smells so refreshing. It smells almost as if I was at a hay field that's slightly green still, but you're getting a little bit of like that, that dry hay mixed with some green hay. And I just, I think it smells very, very refreshing and somehow very relaxing. This one also has fig in it. To be honest, I don't notice the fig, but I'm not really familiar with fig at all. So. Um, I think a lot of people do notice the fig in this one, but I just think it's super like refreshing, relaxing, gorgeous, kind of fresh, slightly green fragrance. Love it. Probably one of the more popular fresh fragrances would be Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. Now I don't have that one, but I do have Sand Crystal by Oak Cha. Although it's got a little hint of grapefruit, there's lots of salt in here. There's some sage. I think there's some seaweed in here. So it's kind of a green uh, marine type fragrance. You definitely get a little bit of that salt, a little bit of that green, a little bit of that brighter, fresher citrus. I would definitely categorize sand crystal or something like wood sage and sea salt in the fresh category. So I do enjoy this one, but again, this isn't really my vibe. Anything that smells too fresh, I stay away from. So I don't mind clean as much, but the freshies, 
uh, they don't play well on my skin. So tell me, have you tried wood sage and sea salt or sand crystal? How do you enjoy them? Really any of the inspired versions probably would be what I would choose over the original just because this has excellent longevity. Also, I just don't reach for that kind of fragrance very often. So I like having it in my collection but I don't wear it very often. So a dupe is a better, uh, just better bang for buck for me being I don't wear it very much. Now, another fragrance that I prefer that's more marine-like and very, very fresh is Salish Sea by Untamed Perfumes. I have a travel spray of it somewhere, but I'm just not quite sure where I put it. So I don't have it with me, but I remember the fragrance well, and I really enjoy it. It's kind of sexy. I feel like it's a little bit more masculine, but it's definitely got that fresh marine feel, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got sea salt, herbal notes, rosemary, black pepper in the opening. In the mid is driftwood, sea notes, seaweed, lily of the valley, and honeysuckle. And the base is beach grass, ambergris, oak moss, and fir. So again, that marine, salty, a little bit seaweedy, mixed with the driftwood and the ambergris and the balsam just really makes this a beautiful fresh fragrance. What it reminds me of is if I was on a sandy mound and there's seagrass blowing and you're getting the kind of a bit of a salt spray from the ocean and you can hear the seagulls gulling and yeah it's a little bit cooler so you get that spray it feels really refreshing you smell kind of the dryness of the sand and the land around the sea and isn't it kind of interesting that the sand uh, with with the sea, you've got this huge body of water and you've got greenness in the water, but really the landscape around the sea tends to be a lot more sandy, a lot more dry feeling. So thinking about driftwood or the grasses that are there or whatever. So I love that fragrance. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely prefer it over something like a wood sage and sea salt, but it's in kind of that same category. It's just a little bit more niche -y. I think it runs a little bit more masculine, although it's still very unisex. I also like the floral component in Salish Sea. So the floral component just adds just another kind of layer to make it kind of more three-dimensional as opposed to linear. This one kind of develops on the skin. You get a little bit of the floral coming through, the balsamic aspect, the marine. So it's gorgeous. If you haven't checked out Untamed perfumes, I definitely recommend them because I think they're amazing. Now, another just excellent kind of more, um, uh, I would say this one runs a little bit more into the clean category. The relaxing category would be Amethyst by Lalique. So it gives me that spa, like as soon as I smell it, I'm like, that's totally a spa-like vibe. So I associate spa-like vibes, like white tea. I have Zen by Sh Shiseido, but I find that one a little bit sharp. So I'm not mentioning it, but I just mentioned it. But but it's, it's not my favorite. So um, this one, I really enjoy it. It's super affordable and it's got a lots of fruit notes. So if you look at the notes on Fragrantica, you think, oh wow, this is gonna be like a strawberry berry, uh, berry fest, and it really isn't. So the berries in here smell very, very green. They smell underripe. They smell like you've got the leaves and the wood mixed into it, but it smells a little bit tea-like. So, and a little bit, like, yeah, the only word I can think of is clean. So definitely has an aquatic feel to it as well. I just think it's beautiful. It smells a little bit more mature. Uh, it took me a while to kind of get into it somehow, but now I really love it. Now, the cool thing is, is that like every fragrance, uh, people pick up different things. And I feel like this one doesn't smell sweet at all, but there's lots of people that notice a sweetness in that, in this. So I think that's kind of neat. I prefer Amethyst 
Eclat. Anyway, it's got a white, I'll put it on the screen. So that one I like better because it's got a little bit more sweetness in it. The longevity on this isn't great, like about four hours, but it's super refreshing. So I love it. One that kind of has a similar vibe, but a, a slightly bit sweeter is Meliora by P Parfums de Marly. Now I don't have Meliora, but I do have Bliss by Juliana's Perfumes. This video isn't sponsored. I just, I've been trying so many of the Juliana fragrances, so I'm kind of falling in love with them. Bliss is an excellent inspired version of Meliora by Parfums de Marly. It's got some black currant in it. It smells super watery and almost tea-like. It reminds me of some sort of a black currant champagne or uh, white wine, if, if there was such a thing. That's kind of the vibe it gives me. It's slightly sweet, slightly green, really enjoy it. I really enjoy Bliss. I think it lasts a long time on the skin. Although I found uh, when I tried Meliora, I've sampled that one quite a few times. It definitely lasts longer on the skin. And I love the Meliora bottle, like the green color. It just somehow reminds me of Tinkerbell. Like when I see that bottle, I think Tinkerbell and I definitely want it, but yeah, I'm happy to have this. Now, another fragrance that I think comes across is really fresh and I love it, but I haven't worn it very much because the longevity is just the pits and it is Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. It's fresh, but it gives me a bit of a sunscreen vibe at the same time. I just think this is so sexy. It's got some balsam in it. There's some coconut, definitely smells a little sunscreeny. And I've talked about this before. It smells like, okay, everybody, when I gave my description, said it sounded like Goldie Hawn from Overboard. And it definitely is Goldie Hawn from Overboard when she's a total bag on the boat, just commanding everybody at every whim. That's the smell of this fragrance. So I think, Super bougie, super rich, it's luxe. If I was going on a fancy vacation, this is definitely a fragrance that I would take. Although I think that for a week vacation, this would be completely gone because you need to spray it at least every three hours to get some decent longevity, but it's just so beautiful. It's got a little bit of, of that sunscreen, coconut, balsamic vibe. It's very luxurious and I love it. So this is another uber affordable fragrance and it is called Guess 1981 by Indigo. Longevity, moderate, like you're going to get about five hours out of it. I find that the projection is actually pretty decent, at least for the first couple of hours. And this fragrance sm smells super fresh, but also a little bit clean, probably cleaner than it smells fresh, even though there is a marine note or some sort of like a, an aquatic feel to this fragrance. This is lilac and it has iris. There's also some lotus in here. So there's a little bit of a sweet powdery floral in this that just smells really, really clean somehow. What makes this one cool is that it's got a little bit of woodiness in the base, along with some wine and some Pinot Noir grapes specifically. So this has this clean smell, but it smells like someone that's just gotten out of the shower. She's got kind of a flowy dress on, she's squeaky clean, and she's drinking a glass of red wine. That's the vibe that I get from this one. So the wind is blowing and you get like a little whiff of her hair, but you're drinking a glass of wine as well. So you get the smell of clean and then you sip the wine and it just feels so relaxing. I love this fragrance. This is something you can wear year round, but it definitely shines in the season where fresh fragrances are warranted, like spring and summer. Uh, this one works really well in the hot weather and I just love it. Super clean, but also relaxing. It doesn't smell spa-like to me. It definitely has, like it just smells clean and like you're drinking a glass of wine. I love it! This next one is definitely a freshie and it is Aphrodite by Soaky London. Now this fragrance opens with mango and you definitely get the mango, but this also has coconut. It smells almost like a coconut leaf, coconut water, that sort of thing. It's It's got a, a similar vibe to Coconut Fizz from the Aqua Allegoria line of Guerlain. This is just super kind of green, fresh, fruity. 
So the mango comes across as green as well. It's very invigorating, energizing, very uplifting and refreshing. But the cool thing about this fragrance is it lasts a super long time on the skin. So even though it's one of those freshies, and I find that freshies typically don't last long, this one lasts like a good seven to eight hours. So love this fragrance. The next one is pretty affordable, uh, but it doesn't last, but uh, it's one of my favorites. And it is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Love is Love. Now, most people consider light blue to be one of the most iconic freshy fragrances that there is. M many people love it. It's super kind of clean and sexy smelling. And yeah, guys really tend to love that fragrance on girls, but it doesn't work on my skin at all. So I love love is love. And this one has some raspberry in it, still the lemon, still a little bit of that apple, but you get a little bit more of this raspberry and it comes across almost as a lemon raspberry sorbet. So it's a bit of a palate cleanser, if you will. The fragrance smells so invigorating, uplifting, fresh. It's fun to wear. And I love that little hit of raspberry that keeps this from smelling too freshy for me. So love this one, very invigorating. Next fragrance that I have for you that's super fresh and just invigorating is Still Life in Rio by Olfactive Studio. The first thing that I smell is kind of a limey feel, but this one has lemon. There's no lime in this, but it does have lemon, yuzu, and mint. And sometimes when I get that, somehow I get a lime vibe. So to me, this smells like a, a Moscow Mule type fragrance. There's a little bit of rum in this one, a little bit of coconut, very green, very aromatic feeling, but that rum gives it a bit of a sexy factor. I think that this one is just fantastic. And I had said before that I figured it was more moderate. On me, I wore it the other day and it lasted at least six to six to eight hours I smelt it and it projected for at least five. So it's actually really well performing. I really enjoy this fragrance. What I love about it is that you get that fresh kind of feel with the lemon. I love the mint in there. It just, it's just like you'd have it as a garnish on the drink. So you get just a hint of that mint, but it definitely comes through. The citrus is just very, uh, very juicy, slightly sweet, very invigorating. There's also a bit of ginger in here, so it just gives it a bit of kick and fizz. Um, I just, I love this fragrance. But what makes this one really cool is that the coconut, which doesn't come through majorly, but the coconut paired with the rum really gives this a sexy feel as this begins to dry down and develop on the skin. So I love this one. I think it's actually a fantastic fragrance, especially for summer. And the cool thing is, is that a lot of times fragrances like this are going to only last about three or four hours, whereas this one you're getting a good six, seven hours for sure with really decent projection and sillage. So really, really love this fragrance. This next fragrance is super clean smelling and it is Benjoin en Fleur by Claudio Zucca. Now this smells, it's getting sweeter and sweeter smelling to me, but there's this real clean bubblegum tuberose feel paired with some fruitiness and it smells like a mixture of bubblegum and fruity shampoo. And I just love it. Like it has the, the, you know, the joie de vie where it just, you know, you just imagine like thinking back to high school almost where you're driving around with your friends and the windows are down and you're loving life and you're sipping on something yummy. Um, this is the vibe that this fragrance gives. It's just this kind of relaxing, sweet, yet clean smelling fragrance. It's really fun. The beauty of this fragrance is it's definitely year round appropriate. And it's got a little bit of a sophisticated, classy edge to it as well, but definitely gives me that clean, uh, clean mixture of a Garnier, Garnier shampoo type vibe along with some bubble gum. So I love this. And even though I think of high school, I don't consider this juvenile in any way. It's just that kind of 
carefree joie de vie feel that this fragrance gives me and I just love the vibe. Two fragrances left. This next one I wasn't sure if I should put it in this category but to me I, I just think of it as a very invigorating kind of clean slightly fresh fragrance and it is Twilly d'Hermes Eau Ginger. So this one has the same kind of Willy Dermes vibe. It has peony and cedar. It's got ginger and candy ginger. So I get the peony, it's sweet. I don't really, I don't think of it as a peony. I think of it as some sort of like airy floral for sure. Um, and then you get this ginger and the candy ginger mixed in. I love pairing this with Bath & Body Works orange ginger kind of from their aromatherapy line. Love the combination with this. I just love that zesty ginger feel, but this is paired with enough sweetness that it keeps it feeling just kind of clean and invigorating. And I just love this fragrance. Like I just, I, I just think it's somehow, it's the fragrance that I wanna put on in the morning to just kind of wake me up. So love it. Last but not least is Trisardi's Donna. Now this one is rather affordable as well. This is my freshy for, for non-freshy lovers. So this has a very clean yuzu lemon combination that to me comes across just slightly sweet and cooling. So I find this refreshing, but not really a freshy, if that makes sense. So you get this beautiful yuzu lemon. It smells slightly custardy in a way. Like I think of like a lemon meringue pie filling. That's the feel that this gives me. There's a little bit of floral in there that just kind of rounds it out. There's some woodiness in the base, but what I primarily get is that beautiful kind of lemon yuzu combo with a hint of sweetness. So it smells sweet and tart. I find this one very refreshing, kind of cooling, kind of calming, but it also smells very classy and sophisticated. I love this bottle. Like I just think it's so beautiful. So I love the bottle. It feels so wonderful in the hands and it's just a really enjoyable fragrance to wear. So those are my picks. What about you? What are your favorite fresh or clean fragrances? Please leave it in the comments. I would love to know and weigh in about these ones. If you like them, if you don't like them, I always love hearing your comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.